Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I've got Airborne Junior with me. Hi guys, welcome back. And we've come to Carnarfon in North Wales where we're going to bring you a series of videos from the North Wales coast. So we're going to start off in Carnarfon and we're going to be looking at Carnarfon Castle. Then we'll be carry on round to Conway, having a look at Conway Castle and having a look at the harbour and some of the boats that are on there. Then we'll be stopping in Rill at a travel lodge there before moving on to Talaker Beach, bring you some shots of the lighthouse that's there, before moving on to Flint Castle, which will be our last location. So before we have a look at Carnarfon Castle, we're going to be staying here at Carnarfon Travel Lodge and we're going to be taking you inside and showing you our room. At the end of this video, we'll let you know how much we've paid to stay here and if you can leave your comments below, and tell us if you think this is good value for money. So come on guys, let's go in and check it out. So this is the main entrance guys, so we'll go through and make our way to reception. Travel Lodge Carnarfon. that way right so I've been to reception and our room is 213 which is up the stairs so I wasn't able to film in reception as there were a few families in there guys but we've got the key now so let's go to the room so it's up here guys we do have this door this key card activated let's get to the room so up there So 213, it's actually one room on its own. Here we are, 213. So it's actually a, a key card here. So let's go inside and have a look. So we've got three lights here as we walk in. We've got this card that we can leave if you don't want to be disturbed. I'm still asleep. So we've got this plug-in heater as well on the wall. We won't be needing that today though, it's quite warm. But it's good to have. It's got two settings on there, a high and a low, and a thermostat dial. So the room is of generous size. We've got this large double bed. We're doing the bed test after and see what that's like. Got television there as well. So we'll do a quick television test guys. Make sure that, that works. Do get this remote as well to use with the television. And yeah, television works. We're good to go. So we'll have a look outside the window now and have a look at the view. It's a nice view. We've got views there of the the harbour, but the window's filthy. I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up properly. But it looks like this window hasn't had a clean for a long time. Which is a shame because it is spoiling that nice view that we can see outside. So we've got this nice picture above the bed there. So we do get two chairs in here to choose from. This one's plastic. And this one's leather. So we'll try the plastic chair first. Not too bad, it's quite nice. So we'll try this leather chair as well. See what that's like. And this one is really comfy. So Airborne Junior is going to do a chair test for us and see which one he prefers. So that's the plastic one. So do you prefer the leather chair or the plastic chair? We've got this wooden table in here as well. 
with some tea, coffee, milk. Got three spoons and three cups. Yeah, they look clean. You get this lamp as well on the table. There's a switch on the side so we can light up this table. We get this kettle as well. Let's have a quick look inside there. Yeah, there's a bit of water in there, but it does look a clean kettle. We've got two plug sockets there and a switch for the lamp. And you also under here, we've got this bin. So above the single bed, we've got this open wardrobe so you can hang your clothes. Six coat hangers on there. And we've got two spare pillows up above. We've got this large mirror so we can both stand and do our hair at the same time. <laughs> okay, so on the single bed, we get one pillow. We've got this duvet, which is quite thick, looks nice. The bed looks nice and clean. Feels nice and comfy. Let's have a quick look. It's even got a mattress protector on there as well. Okay, now time for the bed test. So on the double bed, get this wooden headboard, it feels quite nice. And you also get these pull out lamps. So we're just going to do a test here and see if we can fit our cup in this stand that's built into the headboard. And yeah, it fits perfect. So it looks like cup of tea in bed. On the bed, I've got this sign. I've not seen this before. It says, please top me up. If you need us to refresh your towels, tea and coffee and empty your bins, place me outside before 11am. <laughs> so on the bed, we have got this nice cover, colourful cover on there. This sheet feels nice and thick and comfy, the duvet. The sheet looks nice and clean, nice and white. And underneath again we've got that mattress protector and that looks nice and clean too so this bed it feels nice and comfy i'm sure i'll get a good night's sleep on this bed we'll go into the bathroom see what it's like in there so you've got your toilet there that looks nice and clean got these nice red tiles on the back again they seem nice and clean gives it a nice finished look there nice and neat and bright the sink there just nice and clean again got this big mirror and two nice spotlights that light up really bright in here so you can see and we've also got the main big light there and again in the shower we've got these nice tiles make it nice and bright got a fairly big shower there as well there's a lot of spray jets there. Yeah, so you've got plenty of water coming out there. So you can have a good wash under that shower. Now one thing I've noticed here, when you do turn the shower off, you do get this bit of a drip at the end, but it's not too bad. You can live with that. So there's plenty of room in the shower tray there. So it's nice to see this disabled handle in there as well. If you need any help getting in and out of the shower to stop you slipping. So you get a hand towel in here and this bath towel and you get these two bath towels as well in here and they look nice and clean and they feel nice and thick. You also get this small bin in the bathroom as well. Okay so it's time to give our feedback on our stay. Um, it is positive, I wouldn't rate it 10 out of 10 though and I'll give a few reasons why now. So the first thing is I had a shower last night and water did get through that curtain. Uh, there is a gap there still. I tried pulling the curtain across to keep the water inside but it does still run out a little. Um, and the second thing is it's very slippy in there. Um, you do get them anti-slip uh, grip bumps in the shower tray but they just don't work, it's very slippy and I found myself using that handle a lot to try and keep myself up and then 
having to wash myself with one hand, which is not ideal. Um, so I do suggest that they put some uh, slip mats in the shower trays for people or you can always bring your own I do recommend doing that um, the other thing is the the window you couldn't see out properly we do have a good view outside and you could have looked across at the the sea uh, but you just can't see it properly which is a shame it lets it down so that's another thing um, also the television, uh, we did get free view with the television, but 90% uh, of the channels were just fuzzy, so we only found ourselves watching two or three. We was trying to watch match of the day last night, watch the football highlights, and we couldn't because that was one of the channels that was fuzzy, so that was a big downside as well. Um, but overall, we've, we've had a good stay. Um, just one more thing to mention is this, this big pillar that's in the middle of the room. Now, I know it's structural and the travel lodge can't do anything about that, but if you do have a family, um, you know, it's not ideal to have that pillar in the middle of the room. So I think I'd rate this eight out of 10. Um, it is in a nice location. You've got uh, Carnarfon Castle, just 400 yards across there. And as you walk through to the castle, you've got some nice views of the marina and all the boats uh, docked in the marina there. So it is a nice location. Yeah, you've got Morrison's just across the road. Now, if you do stay here, I do recommend bringing some change because the car park, for 24 hours, we've paid 550. Um, it only accepts coins. Uh, you can't pay by, by card. And... Um, it's a phone app as well, so you'll have to log on to an app and pay for your parking through Google Pay or the, the Google Wallet or Apple Pay, which I found myself doing. Um, so what did you think about the room? Did you find the beds comfy? So the beds are comfy, um, that's a, a plus side. Uh, just one last thing as well, which is a negative, is um, when you do arrive at the reception, you have to go up a flight of stairs before you can check in. So again, that's not ideal for families. You know, if you've got a pram, young children, you don't want to be walking up all the stairs first to get to reception. And there are lifts in here, so you find yourself pretty much coming in. It's like a block of flats really, you, th there are stairs to, to get up to each corridor, which again is a, a bit of a negative. Um, but overall, I think I'd give it 8 out of 10. Uh, we've paid 64 99 for one night stay here. And also we got the 24 hour Wi-Fi access, which was £3. So if you've enjoyed this video and you found it informative and interesting, give it a thumbs up. Uh, we look forward to your comments if you think it's good value for money and if you're thinking of staying here yourself mention that in the comments so now we're going to go get some breakfast and then we're going to start our day and have a look at Carnarfon Castle so if you want to watch that uh, video and join us over at the castle then you click this box here this video and that will take you to the castle thank you for watching we'll see you at the castle